Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing an eyeshadow look for New Year 2020. So this video was requested by Annette. She's one of my friends from back home. Hey girl. <laughs> so the main palette we're gonna be using today is the, the Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss Palette. This is the palette here. And these are the shades. So yes, it does have purples and everything, but it also has like nude colors too. We don't have to use, you know, this purple up here, you know? We don't have to use that purple. We'll stick to the, the more natural colors, okay? So first, we're gonna start by priming the face using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I was on FaceTime right now with Marco, and I'm like, I have to film a video for New Year, an eyeshadow look, and he's like, wear something festive. And I'm like, okay, like a red plaited shirt. And he's like, no, it's not Christmas. And I'm like, I guess. So I'm like, I'll just wear black. I'm actually wearing a Jeffree Star shirt. Let's pretend like that's not there. I'm wearing all black. Oh my God, so the other day I got like a pimple here. It was huge and it just like, it popped. That's how bad it was, it was massive. Like it was huge, I'm telling you, it was huge. It even left like a crater. It's kind of healing now. I'm using this like repair barrier cream. Let me show you which one I'm using. So this is the barrier cream that I'm using for this. It's helping replenish the skin and repair it, you know? It's doing what it says. So this is by First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Barrier Cream. Safe for sensitive skin. And I have sensitive skin, so this is perfect. So you guys, New Year's 2020, what's up? Now we're gonna jump into the foundation. We're gonna be using the Becca Foundation in the shade Khaki. I wanna get LASIK eye surgery. It's gonna be like six grand. I won't have to be worried about glasses. All right, so now, uh, I really need a new mirror. This is like, no. This is for Halloween. This is not for like New Year's Eve. <laughs> anyway, so now that we're done applying the foundation, we are gonna move on to, we're gonna use the Wet n Wild pressed powder, and I'm gonna just apply it all over just to set the foundation. And for that, we're gonna use the 420 Cannabis Powder Brush. So just swirl it around and just pat it in. I like to focus it where I get the worry marks, you know? Just to make sure it like lays down that foundation and it doesn't become creased so easily. I mean, cause it will crease no matter what. And then I really like this powder because it gives you like a photo focus finish, you know? <laughs> like a blur finish. All right, so now that the powder is on, now we can contour the face, and we're gonna be using the Morphe M529 brush. I mean, M527 brush, and we'll be using the Wet n Wild contouring palette. So the bronzer is now around the face. Now we're gonna contour the nose using the same palette, and we're gonna use for the bronzer on the nose, we're gonna use the JS3. We're just gonna dip, dip, tap, tap, and then just shape out the nose how you want, you know? Everybody has a different nose shape, so you shape it to your nose. Okay, the nose is snatched. Now we're gonna jump into the blush. Let's do the blush, y'all. For the blush, we're gonna be using the Morphe E4 brush, and we're gonna be using the e.l.f. Mellow Moth blush. Okay, the blush is on. Ay, parezco la doña chapetes. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of the bronzer on top of this because this shit is shining as hell. All right, so the blush is on. The blush literally has highlight in it because my highlights, my highlights, my cheeks are highlighted, you know what I mean? You can see highlight. And then as you look into the blush, it actually has like a iridescent purple shift to it. So it does have like highlight included in it. So I mean, that's pretty neat, but I like more highlight, but I wish it didn't have highlight, you know? Now let's jump into the eyeshadows. So we're gonna use the Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss Palette. It looks like this, gorgeous, gorgeous. We'll stick to the lighter colors. So we'll use these, this one, this one, Maybe even these three here. Mm, we'll see. 
but it'll look cute. So we're gonna use a Raquel Cisneros brush. This is like a buffer brush. So as long as you have a brush that looks like this, you should be fine. You know, make sure it's clean. We'll start with Hush Hush, which is like a nude pink. Just look for a nude color. And just apply that like this. And just kind of blend it out to the brow, but not really at the brow, you know? Just smoke it out to the brow. And this palette is $15 at Ulta. And then there's coupons, you know, that you can use. Like, 5 off 15 or more. And this one's 15 so it would come out to be like $10, you know what I mean? Which is a really good deal. So just apply it on the crease and smoke it out to the top. So now, can y'all stop texting me? <sighs> okay, so Hush Hush is now on the crease and blend it out to the eyebrow. This palette is so limited. I wish it had more mattes, matte colors because it has lots of shimmer colors. But I wish it had like a, like a, another matte color. Like a, a lighter purple. Um, but whatever. We'll go in with Rockstar and we'll apply that on the lid. Rockstar is a, like a plum color. And we're using the same brush since we already used that color we don't have to go back into it this is quick and easy guys very quick and easy so yeah rockstar purple and apply that on the lid so right now you're just applying a dark base it doesn't have to be this palette but just follow kind of what I'm doing so you're just applying a dark base just on the lid and then just kind of blend that into the crease if it looks like a purple eye you're doing great don't worry and then do the same on the other eye and if you want, you can use an eyeshadow primer before you start the eyeshadows. Um, I didn't, but you can. I forgot, and sometimes you don't have to if the palette works amazing. And these blend out really nicely. If you want, you can go in with a clean brush and apply Hush Hush again, just to refresh in that color. Alright, and then for the outer corner of the eyes, we're going to use a different brush. We're going to use a Morphe 4 to 1 brush and we're going to apply Mystic on the outer corner of the eyes and then we're going to just drag that into the into the crease. So now that Mystic is on the outer corner of the eyes, you're going to jump into Let's lighten this up. We're gonna jump into Glitz and Glam and we're gonna apply that on the lid to brighten this look up because it's looking a little bit dark and it's the new year. It's kinda like a champagne color, kinda champagne-y. Let's try this Morphe 166 brush. Let's use our fingers. Let's see if it picks up more product with our finger. Oh yeah, that's way better. So just apply it on the lid and then you'll go back in with Mystic and you'll just kinda smoke it in all together, okay? That's looking cute. So it should be looking like this. That's looking cute. Right? Alright, so that is Glitz and Glam on the lid. And now we're gonna go back into Mystic, which is this one, just to smoke it in a little bit more. We're gonna use the Beautylish 420 packing brush. I think this is what it's called, I'm not sure. Right, so it should look like this. You know, I wanna make the lid pop a little bit more. So we used Glitz and Glam, but now we're gonna use Bling Bling just in the center of the lid, okay? So, with a clean finger, you're gonna apply bling bling, bling bling, on the lid, just on the center of the lid. That gives it more bling bling. That's cute. So it should look like that. All right, so that's pretty much all the shades I'm gonna use on the eyes. <laughs> we used Hush Hush on the crease of the eye, fading up to the brows. And then we used 
Rockstar on the lid, and then we used Mystic on the outer corner of the eyes, and then we used Glitz and Glam all over the lid, and then we used Bling Bling in the center of the lid. So we're done with the palette. Now we're gonna use, so I'm just gonna clean up the edges, and I always like to angle mine towards the brows because I have what we call sad eyes, so my eyes droop down, and this just brings them up, you know? Oh, you guys, I'm not done with the eyes. What am I saying? We're gonna actually apply a color in the inner corner of the eyes. I can't believe I forgot that. We'll use Ballsy. Ballsy. Okay, girl. I mean, do I want to? It's like... It's like barely there. Nah. We'll use bling bling for the inner corner of the eyes. Let me wipe down the brush because it'll pop more like that. This look I just did should only take you 30 minutes. It's very easy and very simple and my eyes are very red. So now let's jump into the mascara now that I've curled my lashes and we're going to be using the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. And also, don't forget to do the bottom lashes. The mascara is on. Now we're gonna jump into a black liner just to kinda smoke the bottom lashes out. All right, so the liner is now on the waterline. So, so far, this is what I have going on. Now we're gonna do the eyebrows, and for that, we're gonna use the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. Yeah, my eyebrows are done. Okay, I'm so annoyed right now. Um, I cannot find the Peppermint Frost palette. And what's crazy is that I couldn't find it earlier, and then I found it, and now I can't find it. I'm so annoyed. Where the hell is it? All right, you guys, so no Peppermint Frost palette today, but today we're gonna be using the King Tut Jeffree Star Skin Frost palette. And we're gonna use the Jeffree Star highlighting brush and just go in there. There's this spot here on my cheek. What the hell is that? That's nice. Okay, so now let's put a little bit on the nose. Now let's put on some lashes. We're gonna be using the Dramatic Lashes by Eyeless. Okay guys, so... Now we're gonna do the lips, and we'll be done. So for the lips, with these colors, you can use a nude or like gold or browns, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna use a nude today. The other day, uh, my friend Yesenia, I don't know if you saw her video, but she used a nude on me, which was this one. Ah! Like I was saying, she used this one here, which is Posh Spice. And we're gonna line the lips with Dominatrix. So let's line up. Whoa. The fucking pencil broke. So I kind of filled it in to create kind of like an ombre effect. Now we're gonna put on Posh Spice. I know it looks like Chola lips right now, but don't worry. It'll all come together at the end. So now we're gonna apply Posh Spice, which is a nude brown or whatever it is. And I'm not applying it all the way up towards the line of the lip. I look gangsta. Let me put a little bit of a pink on there because the, the brown is overpowering. So let's put a little bit of scandal just in the inner of the lip to brighten it up because it looks too dark. Well, that looks better. Does this complete the look? I think this completes the look, guys. Um, so what did you guys think? This was done with the Bling Boss Palette by Jaclyn Hill. This one here. And 
But that's it for today's video, guys. And thank you, Annette, for requesting this video. I hope you like this video. If you all like this video, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your New Year's 2020 resolution is. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified of all the videos that I've been uploading, okay? I'll see you guys soon. Bye.